Welcome back to the show. I'm Mia, and today we have eight great stories for you. I'm Jeff, and this is coming out a little late, but don't you don't want to miss it because it is amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> okay, so what is TikTok? TikTok is a social media app. It's like musically, it's like a Vine, but it's basically for this newer generation. And you can make and post your own unique videos. What kind of videos do you make? I just kind of make like relatable videos, like our age group, and they're pretty funny. I got a lot of views. One of mine got 11,000 views, which is pretty good. And I've How many likes have you gotten on TikTok? 536 is my most likes. All right, yeah, I got I made a TikTok, and it was really stupid, and uh, got like 13,000 views. So this it was Sebastian Bales, and he did a nail through fake tongue prank, and it was really stupid. And I raised a piece of paper up and said, "Wow, so funny." And that's how you go viral. You go. That's good. After Halloween, we heard everybody talking about their favorite candies, so we decided to put it to the test with a candy bracket. How does it feel to be a senior? Um, it feels pretty good. The past four years have flew by. 
I'm ready to get out though and yeah. experience college. Um, how does it feel to be a senior? Um, it feels a lot different. Are you zooming in on my face? So, oh. A lot different than the other three years. Like everyone has changed. It's most different. I just can't it's wait to older. get out and graduate. Good. <laughs> How does it feel to be a senior? It feels awesome. Oh, it feels great! I can't great. wait to get out of here. I'm ready to go to college, have fun. <laughs> are you going to Are you going to YSU? I am going to YSU. Did it go by? Right? How does it feel to be a senior? It's a real city. Me? Well, but it feels good. <laughs> but it's real. It feels like everything's going too fast, and I either want it to end or I don't want it to end. How does it feel to be a senior? Well, frankly, it makes me want to die. <laughs> How does it feel to be a senior? <laughs> Feels like it's going by fast. <laughs> We're ready to graduate! Daddy? Great. Daddy, it's great. How does it feel to be a senior? How does it feel to be a senior? Terrible. <laughs> What's the difference between girls basketball and boys basketball? Girls can't dunk the ball, so... And girls basketball is more like skill based because they're not like we're not as like athletic as boys so boys is more like size and agility and girls is more like fundamentals. There's a, a couple differences I would say is the ball uh, you guys use a 28 we use a 29.5 uh, skill wise you guys are just like more like fundamentals and we're just like more like go out and play and do like what you can do on the court. So I think there's a couple of things when it comes to men's and uh, women's basketball. Okay. Uh, you know, I think that there are obvious differences, I think just from a demographic standpoint, but I think that you're gonna see, um, you know, there's there's good and, good and positive and negative points to both. I think that uh, when we look at uh, female basketball players, I've always, in my experience, with that and coaching teams and having a couple daughters that do play basketball, um, they're gonna do exactly what, the what you tell them to do. And I think that that's one thing about women's basketball that you see even in the game where the fundamentals I think are, are more intact. I think on the guys' side, um, where fundamentals probably aren't as prevalent, you see certainly levels of athletes that, that basically can get away with being good basketball players, maybe because they're not the most fundamental, but because they're pretty athletic or tall or fast or things like that. So the fundamentals is definitely preserved in the women's game more so than it is the guys' game. We are asking people who they think will win the Michigan versus Ohio State game and why. Well, I'll tell you, until the game is over, nothing is great. We've got to go ahead and win this one first before we do any talking at all. Welcome to Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor once again, where more than 109,000 will be on hand to watch Ohio State and Michigan meet in the traditional season-ending battle. And in most cases, that's really all you need to say. This is the real one. This is the greatest robbery in all of sport. Not college football, all of sport. I think I believe Michigan's going to win. Well, personally, being a Michigan fan, I just think they're going to win. Even though I know Ohio State has had an amazing season and Justin Fields is a tremendous athlete, I just have to root for who I like. Ohio State, because they got the best offense and defense, and to be honest, they look like the best. They look like the best team in the country. Probably Ohio State. Um, Ohio State, because I don't like Michigan, that's why. My dad likes Ohio State, so. Well, um. My friend, Mike DeSenza, he said that he wanted to go to Ohio State, so that's why I hope Ohio State wins. And I hope Michigan doesn't win because of the water conditions there. What's your favorite food on your city? My favorite food is pumpkin pie or mashed potatoes. And why is because they're just so good. <laughs> Uh, my favorite Thanksgiving food would have to be uh, mashed potatoes. Why? Uh, just love the taste of them. Mashed potatoes. Why? <laughs> because it tastes good. <laughs> What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Probably bread because it's good. <laughs> I like to eat apple pie. 
Do I have to? Cauliflower. Why? Um, my mom only makes it during Thanksgiving. And it's delicious. <laughs> Definitely stuffing. Why? It tastes really good. <laughs> so I continuously like gull it down gravy <laughs> with, a, with a funnel. Why is your Like just a funnel. I just gull it gravy into my mouth. <laughs> Why is that your favorite though? I love Why? gravy. <laughs> turn, to the, turn to the right. Turn to the right. <laughs> Go. How was it drinking the gravy? It didn't taste like gravy. It, yeah, it really didn't. It wasn't gravy. It was like thick, creamy disgustingness. It wasn't gravy. So me and my boyfriend are gonna play a relationship game to see how much we know each other. I'm Cameron. I'm Dan. We've been dating for a year. Yellow? No. What is it? Ooh. Dan's favorite color. Red. No, it's green. Is it red? Because <laughs> I'm wearing know. red. I don't know. You always wear red. <laughs> okay, that's not what I'm Next question. South Park. South yeah, Park? That's right. What's hers too? Same? Yeah, the Mavericks name or the Elf. Chick fil A. Yeah. That's it. Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, the cat. Mm. Yours is probably a cat or a dog. A dog, yeah. You like dogs or cats? Yeah. Um. Hmm. You like Kit Kats, right? Yeah. What's her favorite candy? Do you know? No. I don't. She doesn't need candy. <laughs> okay. Well, what? January six. What year? It's fifth. Are you serious? My birthday is January 7th! Oh, October 17th, 2002 is Dan's birthday. Chris and, uh... <laughs> oh my god, she can't remember my dad's name. Kevin. Kevin. Kev. Okay. What's my mom's name? Maureen. My dad's name? Kat. <laughs> Next question. Morgan. And you have stepsisters. I don't what are know names? This. Tell me the name. Taylor. Names. And that one guy. There's two guys. Guys, I don't know either. Of okay, them. Oh. Jenna and Bill, <laughs> uh, Finn and Louie and Baller, Christian, Gingy, uh, Pickles, and Booger Nose. Oh. I feel like I'm just missing one. You're missing two. Two. My two dogs. Oh yeah, River and Mickey. Yeah. Okay. Birthday. You just don't know her birthday. So